Good afternoon and welcome back to Gunshot on this absolutely dreary Saturday afternoon. Um, it's absolutely tipping down outside, so I'm afraid you've got me back in the kitchen. Um, we have been on a bit of a lockdown up here in the northeast due to the recent outbreak, a uh, huge number of outbreak of cases in the northeast. So um, I'm stuck here for a little while. But fortunately, thanks to the guys at GMK, I have the lovely Chapuis um, Super Oliar or um, Super Ryan. C35. This gun at uh, around about £3,000 is the sort of cheaper of the two Super Orion models and it is lovely. It's very much a game gun. Solid top rib which is a uh, 7 to 5 milli um, taper, uh, machine cut tapering, uh, sorry machine cut checkering and a brass front bead. We've got a solid mid bead. Uh, it essentially has Beretta mobile chokes, uh, multi-choke the barrels are nicely struck off, 18.5 board, so a nice compromise boring for uh, steel shot. And um, if we have a look at the proofing, um, you will see that it is in fact um, superior steel proofed. So uh, an ideal game gun and very much what this is designed for. Um, the um, coming back forend is a nice sort of rounded sort of sporting beaver. Um, with machine cut checkering. The wood grade I would describe as about a two, two and a half. It's not floorboards, but it's just a nice strong bit of timber with a little bit of figure in it, not anything to particularly write home about. Coming back to the action, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time talking about the engraving um, because it's one of the key differences between this and its more expensive sibling, the Super Orion Artisan, which I'm gonna be doing next week. Um, the checkering, sorry, the, um, the engraving is nice. We've got some nice acanthus scroll here around uh, the woodwork borders on the um, latch on the forend and then we've got a nice little game scene with uh, partridge and uh, woodcock and pheasant. Uh, again bordered with acanthus scroll and then as we come around at the top of the gun or at the top lever all acanthus. Um, nicely done, obviously done on a laser. Um, somewhat one dimensional um, but this is where the key difference is between the two guns as you'll see next week. Um, Top lever's nicely done, we've got an auto safe. Um, coming back into the stock, we've got a 3250 drop, 15 inch length of pull. Um, nicely cut, um, checkering, again, it's machine done. Tiny bit of a suggestion, more of a, a hint than a, a full-fledged uh, palm swell, but it is there. Um, and just gives a nice sort of secure grip on the gun. The trigger is a mechanical unit. Um, really, actually, um, Really nice bit of mechanical um, sort of trigger pull on it. It's not, you know, the it's not competing with guns at twice its price point in terms of the uh, the quality of the trigger pulls, but it is excellent for the money. Um, coming way back to the back, we've got a solid butt plate um, with these nicely um, decorated screws. Balance wise, um, it's just uh, a touch forward of the pin. All right, it is not. Um, completely neutral, but on a gun this light at six and a half pounds or around about three kilos, that actually works in its favor. Um, it's very nimble and very light. And I think if it were more neutrally balanced, it would be a touch fly away and it would be difficult to draw a line with it. With it being a little bit nose heavy, I think it actually helps it out, giving it a little bit more angular momentum as you're swinging through, meaning you can hang on to your line better. As far as shooting it, obviously with it being a very light gun, it's not designed for, for clay shooting at all, but I didn't miss much with it. It points very, very well. It swings quite nicely um, and it's lovely. You do feel the recoil, okay? With this solid um, butt pad, there's, there's, there's not a lot of concession to shooting high volumes of cartridges, but as a game gun, and seeing as we are right in the, in the plumb in the middle of the game season, it's absolutely spot on. And when you think about what this is competing with, with the likes of you know, uh, everybody out there that's got Brownings and Berettas, um, I think this is a really, really nice bit of kit that you could turn up on a shoot day with, and it'd just be something a bit unusual. In terms of lockup, um, the way that this gun hangs together is actually quite interesting from an engineering perspective, um, or it is to me anyway. So we've got, <laughs> we've got a lug that protrudes from the bottom of the monoblock that locates into a slot in the action floor. And then obviously we've got these, uh, the trunnion pins with the gun hinges, which also forms a, a point of lockup. Um, and then the latches, the latches protrude from the, uh, the center of the action face and locate into these two cutouts in the ejectors. The ejectors um, are actually driven by pushers from underneath the action floor. There is nothing, no springs 
in the forend. So basically the forend is not doing anything. The gun is, is cocked uh, mechanically um, here uh, with the pushers pushing back that way. Um, it's a neat design um, and it seems to work very well. The ejection is very crisp. Um, the gun opens and closes with a nice feeling of quality. Um, generally speaking, it's just a, it's a really nice feeling bit of kit. So, in conclusion, as a game gun, at this price point, I think this would be an absolutely superb choice. Um, very nice to shoot, very unusual, um, and just something a bit different. The, uh, the rounded body um, of this uh, box lock action is just really nice. It's just a very, very pleasantly proportioned gun that's enjoyable to shoot and looks really well. For this kind of money, I think very, very nice. Guys, thank you very much. Next week, I'll be doing the uh, Super Orion Artisan. Um, so please do hang around, and I'll see you next time for that. The channel is, as ever, supported by Bible Shooting Ground, Hull Cartridge, The Confidence to Win, and Macwet Gloves. All grip, no slip. Um, please do follow me on Instagram, uh, Facebook, blah, blah, blah. Have a look for me. Just Google my name. You'll find my various profiles. Um, I usually have sort of little promos and uh, snippets of information that you'll find out um, what stuff I've got coming up on the channel. So if you're looking for what's going to be next, um, you'll find out, you'll find me there. And I, didn't, I tend to post reasonably regularly, so at least you know I'm still alive. <laughs> Even though the, um, I think the, the recently the, the video has been coming out with a bit more irregularity, and I do apologise for that. It's just difficult to keep up uh, the kind of tempo during lockdown. Um, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe. See you next time.